when I decided to work on this, um, the first thing I did, of course, was get the music and the score and listen to it a lot. It had been um, a long time, probably since I was a child, uh, that I'd actually listened to it. I'd, I'd personally always had these associations of a kind of foreignness with the piece, too. I remember when I was a child thinking this was about um, another place in time, about something fabulous um, that I'd never personally experienced, something scary. Um, I was really intrigued by those elements, um, which really led me to the next step, which for me was getting into the characters specifically. What really got me excited about the project was this thought that the wolf is in many ways representative of everything that's desirous, that's insatiable. And this is such a big part of my own work that I thought, there it is, that's, that's my way into this whole piece. The other thing that coincided with deciding to work on this was um, an interest I developed in these uh, Austrian cuckoo clocks that have little characters that, that come out and, and dance around and basically tell a little story. Now, in my thinking about Peter and the Wolf, I kept thinking, how can I get a little bit of movement into this? How can I get a little bit of real narrative storytelling? Uh, so I started making this maquette out of a, a gingerbread house that had this place for the characters to come out of and um, dance around and, and go, go away again. And, and I thought, this way I can really tell the story. That's something I'm still working on right now. Um, I have an engineer making this um, moving turntable structure that will essentially bring the characters through the painting and back out again uh, as they become relevant in the story. Oh, how that bird worried that wolf and how the wolf wanted to get at that bird. But the bird was just too clever for the wolf and there was nothing he could do about it. I think about particularly this piece in terms of this narrative time frame. That it's about a half hour long piece. And it's, it's very important to me in thinking back, particularly to my childhood, um, that that half hour is just super entertaining. And of course, with the Prokofiev score and Isaac reading the story, it, you know, you're already two thirds of the way there. You have um, creatures being eaten alive, um, this very dangerous wolf, narrow escape, it's got really all these great elements in it that I just really wanted to do justice to.